let's simplify a radical expression. In order to do this problem efficiently, I'm going to recall a rule that we discussed in class here. Recall that the square root of a over b is equal to the square root of a over the square root of b. In other words, radicals being exponents essentially distribute through division very nicely. So, assuming that fact, or not assuming it, we talked about it in class here, but looking at that fact, using that fact, let's take 75 over 12 and find out what the square root of 75 twelfths is. Okay, as a first stage, before I even try to use the square root property or the square root uh, rule up here that, I'm, that, I, that I mentioned, we're going to look at the fraction and see if we can simplify that on our own. Okay, 75 and 12 do have a common factor, namely 3. So before I even start the problem, I'm going to divide by 3 in the numerator and the denominator to simplify the fraction. So 75 cents divided by 3, that would be the number 25. And in the denominator, 12 divided by 3, of course, is the number 4. Okay, so now according to our little rule here, the radical of a over b equaling rad a over rad b, we can now see that the radical of 25 fourths would be the same as saying the radical of 25 over the radical of 4. And conveniently, both of those are ones that you might know from just standard times tables. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 4 is 2. So the final answer here would be 5 halves. So pause the video for a second and see if you can do this one here. Square root of 18 30 seconds, or 18 over 32. Assuming you paused the video and tried it on your own, let's see if we do this together and can get an answer out of this. So 18 and 32, first of all, what's the greatest common factor that goes into 18 and 32 and allows me to reduce the fraction? Well, that would hopefully be the number 2. 2 goes into the top and 2 goes into the bottom. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 32 divided by 2 is 16. All under a square root. Now, using the square root rule that I wrote on the other page, the distribution of exponents through division, essentially, this is square root of 9 over square root of 16. And conveniently, both of these are perfect squares. They're square roots of perfect squares. Radical 9 is 3. Radical 16 is 4. And thus, the answer to this one would be 